United Nations and specialized agencies, several global and national level human rights movements have been consistently and strongly advocating the promotion of peace against war. It is the need of the hour that international objectives must be set by all countries to defend peace against increasing terrorism by terrorist organizations and other agencies disturbing harmony of the human society. Currently, the attempts being made by various nations to defend peace include people of people and goods, information and knowledge of the law, encouragement of development of social-cultural relations among different cultures and so on. The people have begun focusing their attention on the need for protection of human rights, protection of the environment and securing of real and international integration. However, several negative factors like ethnic conflicts, ethnic violence, ethnic wars, terrorism, and its several dimensions keep on acting as a big hindrance towards the same. Over the last several years, forces that want to spread turmoil and fear have made this small work war an important part of our daily life so much that we no longer find the thought to hope that a normal working day passes peacefully. The Mumbai terror attack of November 26, 2008 was also an attempt to blast the peace out of our lives. We were expected to be in shock and confusion, afraid and scattered. And so we were. We lost people we loved, we lost friends. People were killed mercilessly even an ordinary daily commute to work became a source of fear. But although the people of the city and friends from all over, we then we never say die attitude and spirit showed the attackers that the worst cannot that the worst cannot keep us down, but damage was still made. Friends, we need to understand that world peace can be achieved when in each person the power of love replaces the love of power. And I am confident that the initiatives like Peace Works and Global Peace Awards will help the society in retaining the values that nurture peace and harmony. Before I wrap up, I would just like to say that there is no alternative to peace and it will prevail all over the world, then only our civilization has some chance. And here we must all remember following words of John Lennon. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will live as one. May peace prevail. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you, Madam It's an honor that you're here today. Thank you. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is our Madam And now uh, it's time for us uh, to actually start the award ceremony. We'd, uh, we'd like to award our first lady. Our first awardee, ladies and gentlemen, is a girl who is an instant. We have Gulsar also joining us, please, to felicitate the lady herself. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Kirti Jaikumar.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to take too much of your time before we have come forward to the journey, but I'm greatly honored by receiving this award. I was struck by the introduction by the announcer at the beginning of the evening. As you might have noticed, the announcer said that peace... Oh, yeah.
talented actor, sweetheart of television, the charming Chakor from the television drama award.
did Vaito on stage an incredible performing though. You've seen them on television. I've seen them on many, many stages, including different parts of the world. Now, the thing about the performance is, is that they teach you trust. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I love the silence. It's fantastic. Keep being silent. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you, Kubra. Hello, everyone. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but still I would like to explain what I had in my mind when I did this painting. As you can see, uh, music really inspires me to paint. So, journalism and a lot of weapons and everything, which you still see, but this is my... <laughs>